Hello. This is getting rather frequent, isn't it? What do you reckon? Fucking hell. Oh dear. Let me just uh, stick the. Uh... I can't win, can I? Fucking. Everything's in the fucking way. No, it's because my ass is getting fucking fatter. reasonably in the central position of the vehicle but there's not really a fat lot I can do about it when I applied it back the other day it was a little bit wonky but yeah it's better than nothing I suppose yeah. <coughs> right <coughs> oh dear let's uh, mm, stick these on what have we got right then there you go that's that one on not doing too bad fully charged again because I stuck them on charge last night I was lying in bed and thought do you know what shall I or shan't I shall I or shan't I yeah I was thinking I was all better flip you up that way man. so we can have a chat this way around instead of uh, that way around because that way just looks fucking stupid if you think about it anywho uh, yeah let's go and put you on the back and then we can leave Tesco's yeah come on then <laughs> one, two, one, two. <laughs> I'm hoping that the weather will hold because it is a bit shitty, to be fair. And uh, which one's you? This side. So it's just one of them, I'm afraid. There's not a lot I can do about it. Um, it was all right yesterday, but I didn't go anywhere special. Uh, but today, I thought, well, I have done Pollington on the old drive-alongs, but it was the diversion version, whereas this one is not going to be the diversion version. This is going to be the version version, so it'll be a little bit different. So for those who haven't been to Pollington before, well, now's your chance. So, yeah. And there you go. Near enough, I think. I know that I was checking the old uh, position again, the camera, and uh, it was all right on the back. I didn't do too bad, I suppose. Hang on. But uh, it was still a little bit too far round, so we'll try a little bit further round this time, shall we? And see what happens. I'm surprised that... Uh, so many of you enjoyed it so much. Uh, yeah, there we go. Go on. Hit that sweet spot. You're a little bit far around you, aren't you? Let's uh, take you back off again, I think. Hang on. I need to alter the the bracket itself there you go okay nice and steady get you in the right spot and you don't fall off I'll be uh, impressed if it did but I don't really want to risk it, do you? Right, let's have a look. That's a bit better, isn't it? I need to scoop you up a little bit. No, nope, too far. You know when you just, it just feels wrong? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Probably a hair. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad, I suppose. I know these have got a wide angle lens, but you just don't want to get pushing it. Yeah. You know I mean? uh, well, we'll give that a whirl. 
and see what's what. 170 degrees is what the angle is, that the wide angle is on these uh, GoPros, if you was wondering. <laughs> well, now you know. So, let's get on our way. And let's uh, venture off to uh, Pollington. Pollington. Hmm. Let me just uh, do that. Oh, I got a little muffy thing on my uh, on my, my microphone so the, the wind won't be so harsh. Yeah, it's all ticking away. Right. I am in a different truck. Uh, the one that I was in uh, last time is the one that I normally drive, and. Yeah, how can I put it? I had a message <laughs> this morning from my night driver. He says, uh, Truck's broke down again, electrical problems. It's had to be towed, uh, stuck on the low loader from out of rock. I thought, great, fucking brilliant. That's just what we want. And then obviously, I had to find out what I was driving. And I'm in this one today. It's a 13 plate, but yeah, as soon as I open the door, that fucking god awful hum uh, of emanation as they call it drifting out of the fucking thing that resembled a pub's dirty ashtray fucking hate it so I've uh, doused the place in this dental stuff I've got it's a surface cleaner but fuck it I've drowned it in the old place the stupid shit so and I've also cleaned the steering wheel off but my hands are still black even though yeah well whatever it's one of them there's not really a fat lot I could do about it, I'm afraid. So, I thought, yeah, screw it. It is what it is. But, unfortunately, the uh, the fleet that we've got, it's falling apart. And that's the truth. Fucking trucks are absolute shit. They are forever breaking down. At some... Um, was it a couple of weeks we've had one go down two go down three go down four go down five six seven <clears throat> in one fell swoop that's us in our area and in um, Bridgetown Bridgetown Bridgend um, we had 15 vehicles down I asked myself the question how the fuck do you survive with that shit you know what I mean what the hell it's like 15. You've had 15. Oh, I mean, we had four that was in our yard. Um, there was they'd been there for ages. There was one vehicle that was parked up and been there for the better part of three weeks because it was fucked, wouldn't move. So it had to be picked up with a low loader. We could only be picked up with the low loader that can carry one truck because that's the one with the winch on it. The other one that can carry two, you've got to be able to drive them on. Or else you ain't gonna do it. <clears throat> so, you know, it's one of them, I'm afraid. But, uh, hey, what can you do? And uh, the other four, they've come and periodically come and fetch them, one at a time, two at a time, depending. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> they just keep, keep on and keep on and keep on failing. Most of the time, it's electrical problems because the wiring loom is fucked, shot. Um, my vehicle, the one that I normally drive, um, that broke down because when they found out why the, the gearbox weren't playing, it happened to me. It was happened to me night driver once through the night, and it was it went perfectly okay, which was lucky, and he got back. And then when it happened to me. It happened to me once when I was uh, in the yard, but then it corrected itself. And then it happened again when I'd got out of the place I was collecting from and managed to get myself to the, uh, the M6 Island. Door is open. <coughs> the subscriber you dialed is busy now. Please dial later. As if you'd want to subscribe to that fucking thing. But um, 
there I was, I'd come out of uh, Roxanne at Richfield and uh, loaded, fine, not a problem, off I went. Drove all the way out Litchfield through down the A5, through Bridgetown Canic, all the way down to the M6 Island, Junction 11. And uh, I stopped the lights, green, off I went. And then the next thing, all of a sudden, fucking red across the board. Just, just at the mouth of the slip road to go down for the M6. I went, Wait. you know what I mean? So I, I took evasive action. <laughs> Indicated, moved out and went round the island. Then got to the the, uh, the set of lights on the other side of the island. That was it, kaput, stop dead. I think fuck. So I done some fiddling around with it, and uh, I managed to get it to run. And uh, it was stuck in manual, but that was not a problem. I managed to the the, the paddle was fine; it was working. Then it it cleared itself, and I was driving normally, heading back to the yard. And then I got to the island, uh, the next island down, and it, it failed again. But it was still moving, but it just got itself wedged in fucking ninth gear manual. It wouldn't go up or down, change the fuck all. You know when you get to, the, you get to that point where you're so slow, and the gears won't, you go... <laughs> and I'm thinking, fuck, don't conk out, quick! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> fucking tell you. But then it, it again... As I got round the yard, it cleared itself again, and it was perfectly fine. I managed to get it all the way back in the yard, and uh, parked up. And then I just swandered around the yard for a bit. And then the uh, chap in the office, he says, uh, "Is there any chance, right? Because obviously there's nothing happening with your truck at the minute. Is there any chance you could just try it, see what, see if it'll fail again or what about? Go across to uh, Unilever and then go and do a Litchfield." I says, "Yeah, I can do that. Well, no problem." Jumped in the truck pulled it around to the uh, the trailer and stuck it into reverse gear and that was the end of it. <laughs> oh, it was going nowhere. We had to fucking push it back. <laughs> it was done. End of. What they found was that when they uh, finally come up to uh, have a look at it because they, they sent the mechanics up to it instead of it going down there they, they came up to it. They pulled the wiring loom out of it and they found several broken wires uh, for certain key points of the vehicle and the one main uh, power cable that went into it was literally fucking eaten away and rotted so yeah it was that good and it's failed again now apparently it's uh, gone kaput again after they supposedly fixed it when well, it's done but here's the thing All right, the vehicle I'm driving now is a 13 plate it has got 1,400,000 25,916 kilometres on it. It's pretty much done. Right. That 11 plate I've got, gratefully it's got less, but it's still over a million. Right. So it's done. It's game over. It's had enough. I mean, don't get me wrong, I suppose if you whip the engine out and then uh, rebuild the engine, service it and rebuild it and then put it back into something else, then fine, you would probably carry on for another million, but you've got to remember is that um, with vehicles of this nature, there's not just an engine, which will probably go until it literally blows itself up, I suppose, but it's all the other stuff that lets the engine down, all the electronics, the wiring, it'll start to perish. Um, things get uh, snagged and, and get chafed and break, and, you know, sockets get... Uh, brittle and weak and they rot and water gets in there and corrodes the living shit out of it so all that will let the engine down because at the end of the day the engine apart from obviously throwing a fucking a rod to the side of the fucker or the, the gearbox designed to just fucking shit itself and fall to pieces in the bottom of the, of the casting you, you, you know you, those things can happen but you'll find nine times out of ten the reason why your vehicle don't work is down to electrical Right? That's always going to be a problem. Electrics will always fail because what happens is, is the the boffins that uh, create these things, they go, oh, why not? We can do. We can put a sensor in that instead of the, instead of it being that, or it should be a relay. But now we'll put a sensor there. But now we'll put another sensor there. Put a brain over there to govern all these sensors. But if the brain gets fucked up, you're shit. That's it. Your truck's dead. You're fucking at it now. You ain't having it. It's done. End of. Game over. And all the rest of it. But I have.
So realistically, for the truck that I normally drive, if um, they ripped out the complete wiring loom, the whole fucking lot, from fucking tip to top, and replaced it, then it would be perfectly fine again. There'd be nothing wrong with it. It would run smoothly, it worked great, no issues. It's got more fucking patches and fucking splices and things like that than a fucking Mugano set. It's ridiculous. Never done anything like it in my life. What can you do? Unfortunately, they're old. And they'll just keep putting patches on, on top of patches, on top of patches, and that's the way it goes. And that's how it's been going for fucking donkey's years. It's never been any different, really. So, yeah. I mean, there's only been that one period in, in Raymond's life that I've known where the trucks, we had some nice new ones, but they don't last long. No. It was great when we had them. Me, my night driver at the time, um, we looked after them. There was a couple of other drivers as well. The, them, day and nights, they looked after theirs. And I think there'd be, it was either three of us or there was four of us. The others you could tell that didn't give a shit, but there was three or four of us who did and has gleamed. Lovely to drive, smooth, fresh, tidy, and it was a pleasure to drive them. Until your night driver gets given a job and his start time is fucking half past nine at night and your start time is fucking half past two in the morning. You ain't getting your fucking truck. So when that happens several times in the week, right, you don't see your truck because some other monkey ends up driving it, fucking it up for you, breaking shit, turn it into a pigsty, right, and shit gets damaged. And you go, what happened to this? Oh, I don't know. Well, who was driving it? I don't know. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. When I, uh, I'd given up on the old uh, sprucing the vehicles up, because what was the point? Wipe the steering wheel down, wipe what I did, that was as much as I went and done. Until I got to the point where I was driving the same one all the time. I thought, you know what? I'm out, open up and keep this fucker. And as you know, DYD, the white one I had, fucking beautiful. After I'd finished finicking with it, nice, beautiful drive, fresh and clean inside all the time. I even jet washed the week on the weekend, cleaned it all off, beautiful. And obviously I was taken off the truck for a while because I was in the security. <laughs> oh dear, that was fun. But when I got back to it, there was several points of damage on the damn thing and it was perfectly fine. Windscreen was uh, broken and replaced. <laughs> they might have replaced that with a fucking cool into the amount of water that pissed through the fucking thing. I, I just, yeah, it's as if nobody gives a shit in this company when it comes to the vehicles and whatever they just don't care and it's not fair because the people who don't give a shit don't have to fucking deal with them but we do every time it's fucking broke down again something's wrong someone had it here's one for you yesterday uh, one of our drivers was stuck up in uh, Derby because he went to pick up a trailer right middle axle offside flat tyre fully loaded with beer the fitter's on holiday because he's had to go to a, a funeral, right? That ain't his fault. But instead of doing the right thing and sending somebody out to come and sort him out, they'd done everything in their power to try and do it as cheap as they possibly could and to the point where the driver himself has sat up there for hours waiting for somebody else to come in so they can take the, the fitter's van and drive up to him, which is in Derby, from Cannock, to go and blow his tyre up. They just wouldn't call somebody to go out and because they didn't want to spend however much money it was for somebody to just come out and blow the tyre up. If you want to make it worthwhile, why don't you just say, come change this tyre to make it worthwhile? No. no. So instead of that, they're wasting his time and his money. Because being a day driver, you paid one payment per day. So the longer you're out there, the less money you earn. Just fucking absolutely pathetic. I can't believe it, I can't. Me personally, I'd have said fuck it, and if the tyre went bang as I'm driving down the road, bollocks to it, it gives a shit. Fucking pointless bothering about it no more. Fucking dump it down the road, then let's film, carry on with your day, just ignore it. You just go, well, I didn't see that. 
you have no choice these days, especially when you're driving in a fucking company like this. It's getting worse, not better. Which is a shame, because the, the job, the job, is brilliant. Can't argue with the job. It's just the shit that we have to do to do the job. It's not fair. And you want to become a lorry driver? Fucking good luck to you, sunshine. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are people out there in places out there that probably do do, like, you have your own truck and you're looked after and blah, blah. Yeah, great, fine, lovely. <sighs> but the majority of them aren't. And I've seen enough to be proven in the fact that it's rare these days. They're always penny-pinching. They're always going to do that. And it's always the driver that suffers every time. But nobody ever thinks or considers that you're pissing off the people who are actually earning the money. Ignore that. I do. You're pissing off the people who are actually earning the money by treating them like crap. But why? Why do that? I just don't understand it. Yeah, you know, we, we're in the middle. I mean, chopping and changing vehicles is bad enough, right? Especially when you're following a dirty fucker, right? But at the moment, we're in this pandemic. At least, I think we're in a pandemic. But you keep chopping and tra- changing vehicles for drivers. That's basically playing Russian roulette, isn't it? When you think about it. I mean, don't get me wrong. You might have it. I think, yeah, coronavirus. Fuck it. And that's the end of it. Or, you're in hospital. You just don't know. You, you can go either way. But you should at least think to yourself, OK, we need to try and keep the drivers in the in the same vehicles. Me, I'm whinge and moan like a bitch, right? Because that's the fact. But there are other drivers in our company that won't do that. They'll just go, oh, I'm okay, but... And they won't stand up and say, fuck off. <laughs> I want to drive the one I've been driving for the last fucking six months while this coronavirus... Because I want to protect myself. Yeah, we lose drivers because of it. But I'm just a stubborn fucker and I'm stopping. I, I just... I might as well just carry on with it now. I'm, there's no point. I live around the corner. It's convenient. I, I don't mind the job. I just wish the trucks were better. Right. If the trucks are better, it, would, it wouldn't be a problem for me. It's just the equipment that lets you down all the time, constantly. And it's just not fair. It really ain't fair for that. If you don't the fucking units, it's the trailers. If you don't the trailers, it's the units. I don't think there's any excuse for it, to be fair. I mean, granted, they're having issues down the road because of um, coronaviruses. You know, snuck in there and took a few of the their employees away, but employ somebody else. Temporary base, you know, give them a, an X amount of months contract or something. Just give them something, because they're probably looking for work anyway, and they'll, they'll snatch at anything they can grab out of. You know what I mean? So why not? And at least you're going to keep this fucking fleet looked after. Hey. Reality. People don't like to hear reality, do they? At least don't want to hear my opinion of the reality anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, hey, so be it. And we are on our way. It's doing right there. It's, it's not a great day, is it, really? I mean, the sun ain't out, which is always, always a nice thing. It's a bit dull and miserable, but uh, whatever. At least you didn't chug it down the rain, that's the main thing. You can uh, witness this uh, lovely little journey around here. This is the, this is the best part, this bit here. Oop. Come on, you fucker, get round. There we go. Oh, that, that, ticka, ticka, that that's not that the, uh, the, the indicator's not working on the truck. No. I think this is one of the ones where they've, they've actually codged it and they've gone through the trailer relay system to make the indicators work and it thinks that there's no indicators on the unit when there is yeah you make of that as you will <laughs> fuck that was <laughs> oh dear 
Well, this is the uh, the A19 that we just landed on, as you've probably seen the signs earlier. And we're going to be coming to this island, and we're going to chuck a right. Yes, and we're going to make our way down the country lanes. It's all going to be fun. Yes, it's nice. There's a point where you, if you go past the uh, the right hand junction, you're going to be screwed because there's a 14 foot three bridge in front of you. Unless you've got a flatbed. If you've got a flatbed, then you can carry on. You got no problems at all then, but yeah. I know this is a short and sweet one this is today, but uh, I thought I'd just give you a bit of a run through it. It's better than nothing, I suppose. There we go. And that road, that road's been closed for fuck knows how many years. That's at least it feels like though, anyway, it's always bloody closed for some reason. I don't know why. Off we go. When you first travel down here, you think to yourself, where the fuck is this place? And you're like, oh, am I going to get stuck down somewhere? You know, that, where you have those scenarios where you, you, you're following your sat nav and you're doing your best, the best you can, right, to make sure you're observant of all your surroundings and reading these signs clearly so you don't fuck up, even though you've got your sat nav on there as well, but you're using that as a guide like you should do, not as gospel like some people fucking do, right? And it still stabs you in the fucking back. And you end up having to reverse a fucking mile and a half down the bastard country lane because you can't get on the bridge. Yeah. We've all been there. It's not fun, trust me. It's a pain in the fucking arse. You'd, you'd be surprised how, how long it takes to reverse down a country lane that's about a mile long. Mm. It's not as quick as you think. <laughs> oh dear. Granted, right, <laughs> when that scenario actually happened to me, that wasn't my fault, right? The place I was going to, right, there's only one way in, okay? One way. But that way was closed due to um, the bridge was being... Um, I think it was either being rebuilt or something because something had gone over and, and severely damaged this bridge to the point of collapse right don't ask me I haven't got a fucking clue and that was the only way in for the likes of these vehicles the high sided ones there is another way in with the flatbeds which is perfectly fine because the bridge is only like fucking 13 and a half up but your units, the units can travel under them because they've got these low units and they can just sail through no problem at all we can't and we was directed and fucking I was on the phone the part the fucking time I was there doing all that shit yeah. now I can't get there it's a it's a seven and a half ton limit I can't get down there I'm not allowed to it hasn't got access of fuck all it's that and eventually it got cancelled off because I just couldn't get down there because after telling them that I can't go down there because it's a 14.3 a 13 fucking 6 a 14 this they finally twigged this particular company that I'm, my trailer's 15 foot one. I had mentioned this several times in the, in the conversation, like, you know, oh, well, that's the only way you got it. Yeah, oh, you can't. Oh, okay. So we ended up having to cancel it off. We couldn't do it. Couldn't fetch the stuff. Couldn't get there. Yeah, until they repaired the bridge. And I haven't been back there since, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's all right, though. It was originally, before the, the bridge got fucked, it was a, a cracking little, once you found the place, I mean, it was a fucking, it was a right pain in the arse. But once you, you, you'd you been once and you'd done the route, perfect. But the first time, mate, oh, what a fucking nightmare. Absolute nightmare. But hey, once you've done it that once, then you know for a fact it's doable. You ain't got to worry about it. And that's what it was like. I mean, we did all that. And in we go, get loaded straight away and zip it up and away you go and back out the same way you came because you can't go any other way. And uh, off you go, it's only in Telford, I'm sure it was. Somewhere up there, not far. <laughs> but we've, every, everybody has been driving long enough, we'll have a, a scenario like that. It's just, it's inevitable. It's what happens. There's a the bridge down there. Hello. Mm -hmm. 
Did that sign just say great heck? <laughs> oh dear. It's like, and you go, and you go, where'd you live? What the heck? Ah, oh, I thought it was funny. <laughs> this particular road, right, as you can see the signs here, like, you know, got the, the restrictions and what have you in certain parts. This one particular street just down here past the. Is it, I think it might be a, is it a recycling thing, whatever. Drops down to a 30 mile an hour zone, but it's also got a time limit as well. You cannot travel down this road between the hours of uh, 11, I think it's 11 pm till 6 30 am. You're not allowed down this street. It's timed. Hey, why not? Do these people want fucking arctics bouncing down there at that time of day? They're, they're, it's a farming area anyway, so they, they're going to be up early, but hey, you don't want them fucking banging up and down here, do you? You'll see the, uh, just around this bend, I think it is, yeah, there's a, the humpback bridge that we've got to go out, which is quite tight. You have to be careful, be a bit vigilant, just in case somebody decides to come over, over at the same time. When that happens, it gets a little bit troublesome. So, but hey ho you should see oh look there's a 11pm half past 6 uh, cool this is the one uh, hopefully my camera will stay on as we're going around here with a bit of look it's uh, quite narrow <laughs> Yeah, it's still there. Uh, happy days. Oop, maybe not. <laughs> oh dear. And then this bit of the road after this bit here, this, this the speed limit sign changes. This is where the road gets absolute fucking dog shit. It's fucking uneven and fucking rubbish. It's just crap. Absolute crap. But I suppose with the amount of HGVs that go bouncing up and down it, I'm not surprised. You got uh, H and H that side that does all the bricks and stuff and what have you, and then you got this side that does all the gravel and stuff. So um, yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> oh dear. Well, we're almost here. If the fucking truck don't fall apart by the time we get there. Jesus. Fucking hell. Right then. That's it then. We're in. We're here. That's it. Done. End of. Short and sweet, wasn't it? Half an hour. Better than nothing. It's better than a kick in the dick. Well, I suppose I better go then, hadn't I? We'll see you a lot again some other time. Have a good day and all that. I'll see you later. Go on then. Off you pop. Pop, poppity poppins. <laughs>